Hi, I'm Don Larson, and today we're going to be talking about bow grip, how to hold the bow. The bow grip is important because your fingers are going to have to be able to flex, and your thumb is going to have to become a pivot point on the, on the bow. So, how you hold a bow and where each finger goes will be different for each person a little bit, but the fundamental rule is that the, each hand will still have the factor of being able to rotate forward and backwards and flexing motion in the bow so we can do these different control coming from your fingers rather than your shoulder. So we will learn to pull the bow with our fingers but first you have to learn how to where the thumb goes and where the fingers go and what they do for the bow control. The thumb is probably the most important part of the bow arm itself in that it has to be able to flex going left back and forth like that. So it fits on the bow between the leather right about there at a 45 degree angle. Many students, beginners, hold the bow like this but it becomes rigid and it, the thumb has to be able to flex this way. In the hand, if you look at it, the natural thing is for the thumb to be at about a 45 degree angle to your hand. Maybe just shake your hand out and look at it. So if you turn the hand this way, it'll make your hand pronate too much on the bow. And if it's on the edge, it helps your hand have the right shape here. So your thumb goes between the ebony here and the, and the leather, the frog and the leather. Your thumb fits between the two. And you'll notice on my bow I have a piece of surgical tubing that I slipped on there. Put some detergent on the end of the tube, cut off a piece. Surgical tubing. I bought a strip off the internet and I put it on most beginner students because this is a very comfortable fit and it, it grips better than the wood and sometimes your thumb would tend to just slip underneath you. You want to keep the thumb on the side of the bow at 45 so it can flex forward and backward. Then the first finger is the, takes most of the weight that you rest on the bow is on the first finger. And the other finger, the next finger fits, I put it on the hair, touching the hair and the silver. And the little finger is here. There's a little pearl on your bow and probably right above that, right in there. Now, I see some students sometimes let their hands slip back too far back. That's not good, particularly because the tip weighs, the bow weighs quite a bit and it'll tend to make your hand fall back. So it's kind of important that you keep the little finger on the side here and your hand with this shape. When I'm playing the cello, I have this shape in my hand here and here and here and here, which is the second knuckle, oddly enough. And that allows us to keep the same weight so you have an even nice warm tone all the time. There are times when you raise your, your fingers here but go straighter but our fingertips are in contact with the bow because they're going to control the bow, whether it's going... They move the bow, not your shoulder up here. The shoulder doesn't move the bow. If you pull the bow with your shoulder, this all becomes rigid and tight. So it's re you really want to have a loose bow grip in order to do that. So don't strangle the bow with your thumb. So beginners tend to squeeze, and even advanced, child squeeze too much. And your fingers are going to be flexible so they can do this motion, which means your wrist is going forward, back, forward, back. The bow grip is really something that isn't fixed. It moves, it flexes, and so the basic position it might be something like that, but realize in the next video we'll go into why it has to be loose and how it's going to move around on the bow and why it does that too. So it's not rigid where you're just gripping a bow like a steering wheel on a car, but you're moving, going to be pulling the bow all the time, and it'll be more about that in our next video. Mm -hmm.